Hello, everyone. In today's lesson, we're going to talk about how to respond to suggestions in a group setting. This is an important skill because when you're working in a team, you won't always agree with every idea that's shared. But how do you say no without causing tension? And how can you suggest your own ideas politely? Let's explore some ways to do this. When you're in a group, it's essential to share your thoughts and opinions, even if they differ from others. The goal is to communicate politely and offer alternatives so everyone can work together harmoniously. This way, the group can make the best decision possible. Let's start with polite ways to reject suggestions. When you're in a group, it's essential to share your thoughts and opinions, even if they differ from others. The goal is to communicate politely and offer alternatives so everyone can work together harmoniously. This way, the group can make the best decision possible. Here are some expressions you can use. One, I don't really like. Example, I don't really like the idea of having the meeting on Saturday. Two, I'm not a big fan of. Example, I'm not a big fan of adding more tasks to our project right now. Three, I'm not crazy about. Example, I'm not crazy about changing the design last minute. Four, I don't care for. Example, I don't care for the idea of moving our deadline up. Notice how these phrases sound polite. They show that you don't agree, but they don't dismiss the idea harshly. After you politely reject a suggestion, it's a good idea to offer an alternative. Here are some ways to do that. One, I'd prefer to instead of. Example, I'd prefer to meet on Monday instead of Saturday. Two, my second choice would be. Example, my second choice would be to start the project next week. Three, I think I'd rather. Example, I think I'd rather keep the original design. For if it were up to me, I'd. Example, if it were up to me, I'd focus on what we already have planned. These responses let the group know your preferences without being forceful, and they open up a conversation for everyone to consider other options. Now it is your turn to practice. Listen carefully to the following statements, and then politely express your disagreement using the phrases provided in the lesson. Try to respond positively, even if you disagree with the suggestion. Use phrases like, I'd prefer to, or if it were up to me, to share your opinion while keeping the tone friendly and constructive. Remember, the goal is to respectfully offer your own suggestion or alternative while maintaining a positive and collaborative approach. Statement. Let's meet on Saturday morning to finish our group project. Student response. I'd prefer to meet during the week instead of on the weekend if that's possible. Two, I think we should add an extra part to the presentation for more detail. Three, why don't we start our study session at 7 a.m. to get an early start? Four, let's divide the reading equally among everyone so each person reads 20 pages. Five, how about we work on the project every evening this week to stay on track? Six, Let's include some extra examples in each section of our report for clarity. 7. I think it's best to write out every single detail in the report for accuracy. 8. Let's ask the teacher to extend the project deadline by another week. 9. Let's work on the project every evening this week to make sure it's perfect. 10. I think we should include a lot of detailed charts and graphs in our presentation. Well done. You've done an excellent job practicing how to respond to suggestions politely and constructively. This skill is essential for building positive communication and teamwork. Keep up the great work and remember to use these phrases in real life situations to maintain a friendly and respectful tone. Congratulations on your participation and effort in this exercise. Keep practicing and you'll continue to improve.